Welcome home. Thank you. Texas too, right? <laughs> All right? At the end of the day, the president has to make a hard decision, and he has to weigh different considerations to, to finally get someone home. And the president did that to bring these men home, and they're all the better for it. As of today, 10 more Americans are back, six of them wrong for the detainees in Joint Base San Antonio, where they're in the loving embrace of the military as they provide post-isolation support activities. Are there any more? Um, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, free at last. Uh, very emotional, exciting, grateful. Um, so much gratitude for, for the moment, for the United States of America, for for all of you, and, and for the, the opportunity to come home, come home so soon. So many people abroad are, are being held captive. So many innocent people. The majority of people are innocent. And, uh, you know, just I really got the opportunity to, to experience it through, through trial and, and, and triumph and to, to be able to come back home in a very fast manner. Many people have been over, over incarcerated for 20 months, for years, and um, it's, it's quite an experience. But to come back and into Texas, into the United States of America, and to see all of you, such warm faces, so much love. Uh, I'm just very, I'm very grateful, very appreciative for the moment. Incredibly grateful to be home. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful to my family, to my friends, to President Biden for getting me home, for getting all of us home. And uh, honestly, uh, all you think about when you're in prison is uh, how you didn't appreciate being free while you were free. There's no way to understand what it's like to be in prison unjustly and not have any way up. And uh, so it's been a long time coming. It was probably the most difficult thing I've ever been through.